All right, so. Wait, we're gonna actually have to play this game? To start off. Oh God, I think you're done for, man. I'm really good at this game. This game is so impossible. We got something a little bit different today for, for Let's Play purposes. I am here with two of my guests. Introduce yourselves to the internet, please. Whatever, whatever you want the internet to call you. Uh, my name is Stephen Chang. My name is Call Me Champ. <laughs> and they're going to be coming along for the ride. I'm nervous now, man. Okay, so the game that we're going to be trying here with the three of us is called The Last Ninja. And this is an old game from the NES, and I remember playing this one back in the day. And I think it was based off of a series in Commodore 64. This isn't the only game in the Last Ninja series. Um, but Steven, have you seen this one before? I have not seen this game before. Oh wait, no, I'm calling Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I'm Steven. This is the greatest game ever. I just watched you swear a whole bunch while you played it. The entire time. So you have seen this game before. Yeah. But you have not. I have not. Okay. <laughs> so, this is this game is a third person action type game. And it is kind of known for having clunky controls and in, in general being relatively difficult. So, what we can do is go through and see how far we get, um, depending on how much time we have. It's not a terribly long game, but it is difficult. So, maybe what we can do is switch off between okay. lives. Good luck. Wait, this game is called The Last Ninja? Yes. So it's Tom Cruise? That was <laughs> the last... <laughs> break answer. Okay, so... <laughs> it, like you can see here, the game controls isometrically in 3D, and the ninja has two attacks. Strong kick a, strong punch. a punches, B kicks, and if you're moving around, A jumps. Very, very awkwardly, in like, in done for, in three dimensions. So the big challenge, a lot of times, you have to do platforming with really bad jumping controls. All right, ready to go. All right, so the point is, you have to get to the end of the stage by either finding items, finding weapons, and or beating everybody. Oh my god! So the co the combat, basically, just line yourself up with the guys and you just punch you. Wait, you let them punch you that much? Can't you like run around and stuff? You, oh, you can, but you need a weapon. Okay. Oh, shit. Was that the game? Yeah. That was the guy dying. So Wait, the, en the enemy life bars recover over time until you knock them out twice. So it's better to just knock them out once, get whatever you need, and then leave. So I punched that thing on the wall, and that opened up the floor. Oh how do you know how to figure that out? Can we explain the power? The power? Diagram. Life. The power, the power meter that you see in the bottom of the screen is the ninja's life. It's a life bar. So like that, the filled-in portion is mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Uh, so the, the filled-in portion depletes first as it goes around, and then once that's gone, the outer part starts depleting, and then when it's completely gone, you're dead and you lose a life, and you have five lives and no continues. There's a key on the ground. Yes. <laughs> so you can pick up items with. Oh God. B. Is he in New York? Yes, Central Park. Uh, first level. Oh, yeah. it, he's trying to stop some evil guy from taking over the world. What's his name? name? The Ninja. I don't think he has a name. Oh god, that guy looks tough. So each of the screens usually has oh four god. directions you can go in. Oh my god, that's gonna look tough. Yeah, he whooped on you, man. What we need is a weapon. You would think as a ninja you might like have some fancier attacks or you think as a ninja or something? Like, wouldn't be uh, in the yeah, anyway. <laughs> You think that Ninja would have some emphasis on stealth? Oh my god, that guy rocked you too. You just let, you're letting him just whoop on you. Oh, oh, oh what the? <laughs> All right, keep going. <laughs> the guy smoked you. How is there a juggler? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I meant to do that. Okay, so what I got was a map, and you can switch the equipped items in using or holding by holding select. Hitting B or A, those are throwing stars. Oh, what? You had those all the time? Those are those little black things I picked up. Oh. The key and then the map. I'll leave it the way it is for now. What you just did. Is 
so just by climbing up the wall doesn't automatically. I hope we get to the river. Oh, that hurts. Is that, is that sword? Oh, my That's God. a stick. So if you don't make that, you die. If you fall off of these little ledges, yeah. yes, I think it kills you instantly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this game is brutally difficult. So it's like a it's like a five foot drop. So I can use this, that stick that I picked up. How did that not kill you? That's the same same height. Using a when I'm holding a weapon like that. <laughs> the ninja uses this martial arts technique. Look at how horrible it looks. Are you gonna go back to the guy's throwing pins at you? Smoke him. You can't hit him. Oh, you, you can't? Have, yeah, no, you just have to run. Oh, what? That's okay. Okay, this so. Guy, this guy whooped on you earlier. Wait, he has nunchucks too? Yeah. No, he's got, a, he's got nunchucks. I have a stick. <laughs> oh, man, you're whooping on him. The stick is much more. Oh, effective. my God, you whooped on him. <laughs> oh, yeah, this guy hit you too. This guy has nothing. Ow. Wait, what? Oh. Much better than <laughs> using your fist. <laughs> Game's easy now. Yeah, you can't you can't lose. <laughs> the challenge of this game is not the enemies. Not even close. That guy's not doing anything. Oh he got you. Oh he got him. <laughs> and trade. He just kinda stands there and takes it. Oh, you're gonna die. Wait, do you have to like can you like dodge or like move? Okay, the intro you just screen, the it, it gives you a clue about where to find this. You'll, you'll see what I'm doing here in a sec. So, I can just run past this guy because he's knocked out. He's, he's coming back? Yeah. yeah. He's down. No. I have to wait for him to get back up, but I'm not going to come back here, so I'm just going to leave. This guy. See, if depending on how you actually hit the enemy and line up, it determines whether or not they hit you back. Like, if they kind of spin around, you hit him from behind, you just hit him all day. Is that cheeseburger? Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah the that guy's too. sick too. We're done for. We're gonna keep ignore going. that guy. Keep going to the bathroom, man. Okay, so I got the other half of the nunchucks. So now I have nunchucks. Yeah. How did you know they're in there? Played this game a lot back in the day, man. How, how are you supposed to know? Yeah. You play this game. The, like I said, there was a clue that said to look in the bathrooms. It was on the title screen. Okay, so using the key opens up the gate. <laughs> yeah, let that one go by now. So this part, you have to time it perfectly. Oh shit! Like oh, that. What? But that's way less funny when you're actually good at it. <laughs> but you have to do it more than once. I swear that's so much. that's <laughs> not the hard bees. one. That's the easy one. There's bees that attack me. Yeah. Part of these. <laughs> these attack me. Okay. Uh, what? So that stick that I got, I need to use it to push this boat. You can push it? Yeah. Why can't you just jump on the boat? You can't. Oh, I see. You mean you're gonna come back? Yep. So you have to race your boat? No, it, it, it starts on the next screen. Oh, really oh, this so now I have to do it again, but the opposite direction. Oh, what? what the? Why? Run so Okay, okay. <laughs> there we go. You wanna try it? No. I did my try to watch this. It's way funnier. Wow. Too good. Two tries. Alright. So that was level one. We've got three lives. So there is a password system that lets you continue. But if you continue on the level you died on, it starts you with the lives that you had when you beat it, or you got to the level, so it won't give you a full five. I would start with three, but we can move on for now. So now we've moved from the park to the streets, and- Oh, oh my god, you just died. Was that a car? It's a motorcycle. What happened? It came out of nowhere. So you have to wait for the light to change, but some of the streets, you can't tell which way the light's pointing. So you have to guess as to w whether it's the yeah, stop for you or the stop for traffic, and oncoming traffic just kills you instantly. Oh god, I got kicked you. And punched you. There's a lot of, like, details in this game. Yeah, man. Stick, stick doesn't do a whole lot of damage, though. Oh, I can't go in there yet. I need a key. Yeah, I don't have a key for there yet, so I keep going. Oh, you back. Just keep jumping. Nunchucks are actually better than that. So it's green or red right now? It's 
red, but I'm not going to go across that way. Whew. Stakes combat. Can ignore this guy. Okay. That's the entrance to the next level. Oh. Got him. Oh, we got you. Oh. extra life around here. I gotta get past this guy with another stick. Can you go back here again? Yeah, I need to go up, I think. Yeah, I need to go up. So, you guys remember the Ninja Gaiden series, right? Or at least heard of it? I do, yeah. So, we had we got this game from our uncle like probably a couple years after we got the first Ninja Gaiden game on Nintendo, and going from like an actually solid game with good like gameplay and stuff to this is was pretty jarring and I, we never beat it right we never beat it back in the day. Shinobi was like the best Ninja game. Yeah, that was on Genesis, right? Yeah. Shinobi games, right? Yeah. I didn't know anyone who had a Genesis, so I never played any of those games. It's like Sonic and all those other ones. There we go. How would you know there's a key in there? You wouldn't. It looks like you can't even walk in there. Yeah. No, yeah. You, you can't tell what doors you can walk in and out of. Like this one, you can't that even go like up there. Walk in there. Wait, what? <laughs> but I think all the locked doors are white, and it's so when you use the key, it opens. So basically, the only way to beat this game is to memorize everything. Like, memorize all the directions to go, all the items that you can get. Like, this thing? What does that look like to you? Beer bottle? Molotov cocktail. Yes. That sounds like a syringe. You need that in order to beat the next level. So if I don't have it, you're done for? I think you're screwed if you don't have it because you need it to... Hey, what's that lady doing? I thought she was going to throw something. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. Was. Waiting there. Why? To drop pots on, on ninjas? Yeah, that's, that's pretty rude. So now I gotta go back to that spot after the intersection. Now that oh, I have the key, yeah. okay. I gotta not die. Which way was it? Down here? Mm. Yeah. Now which, so, you'd think that it's, that's okay. oncoming traffic, right? Oh, what the? Nope. That was a red light for you. That's yeah. that's what I thought it was too, and I don't have to cross that direction here on the screen, so I'm just gonna keep going because I really want the item that's behind that locked door. Oh, we can oh, not see him. <laughs> <laughs> so that guy's done forever. He's dead now. weapon in the game. It's a sword. It, it looks like a stick. Yeah. I still have the stick, don't I? I do, but the sword, I think, does the most damage per swing. Okay, so now I think I've got everything. I can just go beat the level. <sighs> <laughs> Way 
better if we just oh, watch and you try to win. That's crazy. Yeah. I thought I could jump over <laughs> the guy that was clearly on the opposite side of the street. What just happened? Okay, so... Now what? We're gonna continue, and oh. it should start us in that area with three lives, but now I know where everything is. Did you do all that again? Yeah. Is that the sword itself? Or is it... Oh, so it starts you like at the beginning. At the beginning of the level. Uh... Yeah. I've beaten it before. It's been a long time that I've beaten it. You just have to be perfect. And memorize where everything is. Oh. Gotcha. Kinda... There's no way to recover life either. Those hamburgers you saw me picking up were like an extra. Why is it hamburgers of anything? Well, Wouldn't Ninja want like sushi? sushi? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe he's an American ninja. Yeah, I don't think this ninja is Japanese. Oh. That would make a lot of sense actually. He's not like the, the best ninja ever. <laughs> he's Chris Farley from <laughs> Beverly Hills Ninja. Mm -hmm. Oh, what was that one? Uh... That one movie with like the, the little ninjas. Three ninjas? Three ninjas? Yeah, three ninjas. <laughs> I remember that was a sick ninjas. movie. That was good. The uh, Victor Wong was in that movie. Oh, uh, was Mr. Miyagi the grandpa? No, v Victor Wong. He's the old guy from uh, Tremors. Uh, yeah. The old guy from Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, you haven't seen Big Trouble in Little China? Uh, Yes. It's one of the greatest movies ever. Better than Three Ninjas. Big Trouble in China is infinitely better than Three Ninjas. 